Hello everybody and welcome back to Tips and Tricks for Dot2. We are in the Ad Week. This is Michael Quincy Stratman and today we present you the third of our Ad Clips. In the first one you've seen a fixture at a value or fixtures at a range of values. And Lars has showed you in the second clip a fixture at fixture, an enormous powerful tool especially when we talk about controlling video servers, where you have a lot of parameters for the single functions and you need to copy them simply from one to the other one. In extension to that, fixture at fixture, this, what's a group? A group is nothing else than a selection of fixtures in a special selection order, but of course you can say group at group. If you have a look at my little groups here, I have all of my spots, the odd ones and the even ones. Very, very simple. So I choose some and I do some adjustments for them. You've seen this before. Maybe we choose a gobo as well. This is nice. A little bit rotation like this. Looks like this. These have been, or these come from the odd group and we want group number three to do the same. Very, very simple. Group three is the target at group two. And again, if the values come from presets, they can, the console does an add preset as well. So, group at group, fixture at fixture. And we introduce something else, which is group of fixtures at a queue. Have a look at my little main queue list here. I have a preparation queue. So, moving lights go into position. They have no color. The shutter does something and the zoom is set to narrow. But the dimmer is closed. These are the values stored in the preparation queue. This is queue number one. They simply open the dimmer. The stage center comes from a preset. Color open and narrow comes from a preset as well. So this is queue number one. All lights stroke white on that position. And queue number two, they just turn blue. So... The nice one is, or what we're going to do now is group two at Q one, please. When I say at Q one, as this is the main Q list, the console knows that I want to have this Q list, or that they this lights should go to Q number one from this Q list. If you want to have this from other queue lists, like this one, there are several versions or several ways to get there. All of my lights are group number one at queue number two of this. You can see it already here. Values are coming. This is the queue number two from this queue list. So you can directly type in, i show you in the command line, group 1 at queue number 2 of this executor. Very, very easy. If you want to do that by command line, let's say group number 1 at queue 2 executor page 1, the first one, executor 1.1, 1 .1, please. So it selects this one. Very, very easy, but group at Q, this is fantastic, or lights fixtures at Q. And I show it again to you, group number two at Q1. Now back from this Q list, Q number one was open random strobe. Looks like this. And group number three at Q2. So the even ones 
do the first queue, the odd ones, or the other way around, do queue number two. And what you can see in here, if you watch the fixture sheet, it takes the status of this queue, even if there are no dimmer open values in queue number two. The console knows what you want, so simply don't think about it, just say at Q2 and now this is ready to be stored. So again, a very, very nice tip and trick for dot two group or fixtures at the queue. That's it for today. Hang on, we're going to do one more with more tips and tricks in our at week. Bye-bye, this was Quincy Michael Stratman. Stay tuned for the next one. Cheers, bye.